So hello, I'm Farah Uide and today I'd like to show you my first tutorial which will regard to the way you encode videos for uploading them on YouTube or anywhere actually. And I'll show you how both hard subbing and soft subbing work, so maybe you'll learn something new, I hope. So, the first program you'll need is Evidemux, which is used for hard subbing. There is also MKV Tool Mix, which you can use for soft tabbing, and I usually put a soft sub file along the hard sub one on YouTube, but of course you don't need to do this. Another good program is MKV Extract GUI, which enables you to extract tracks from the MKV files. But since its interface is simple enough, I won't cover it here further. So, the first thing, I'll show you how to make an MKV file. You'll need the files to input there. You can just drag them over, like this. And you can see now we have three tracks here. One of them is video, one of them is audio, and the last ones are subtitles. You can play with those, move them up and down, and I usually just order them as video, audio, and the third are subtitles. And you can tag them. For example, I usually change the language since the audio is Japanese. And you can tag the subtitles. I usually do this, but you don't need to do this. You can also change the file segment title, which is actually sort of a name that you might show in the player later when you open it. You'll probably just want to use something self-explainable like this. And here you can just choose the output file name. And here you're almost ready for muxing, but just before that you also need to add the fonts that you want to use. Those are the fonts that you've used in the subtitle file, so uh, they should be easy enough to figure out. You'll just add them as attachments, not as the input files. And then you can mux and you can view the resulting file and see if it's correct and if the timing matches. Sometimes it doesn't match, so then you need to time shift the subtitles, but this one is a, is a perfect match. You can see that the subtitles are here, and you can turn them off. And on back again, and you can see that those are all tagged, and the uh, tag you shows up here as well. And they're back on again. So now you've you have the MKV file ready, and we'll look at how to make the hard subject file, which is the more important one now. And you'll need to have a sim proxy here, which comes with Evidemux. And there are several uh, parts of the script that you'll need to use. One of them is the load plugin part, which loads the VS Folter library, which basically uh, basically determines how the ASS file works. Then it's the directory source, which specifies uh, the input video and audio. You can also use every source when uh, you have an AV file, but uh, we have an MKV file here, so we'll just settle with directo. Every source would just look like this. And then there is text sub, which uh, embeds the subtitles as a part of the picture, so you can just take them out. Just control the, the path to the files are correct. And then the last part are those two. Because uh, you can't handle more than 16-bit audio in every synth. 
and um, why we 12 is just a common color space that we'll need to use for it to render correctly. So now you can create proxy and an instance of Evidemix will open. You can uh, view the resulting file here, but the timing may not be correct. It depends. So now you'll need to choose uh, the output uh, output uh, settings. Like the codec, we'll use uh, MPEG4 AVC, which uh, is also known as H264. You can set it up, for example, set the constant rate factor, which basically sets the quality. The zero would be the highest and 51 would be the lowest quality. And uh, you want to be somewhere around 20. I'll use, for example, 18 for this while. You also need to set uh, the output codec of audio, but it doesn't really matter because we'll later replace it with the original for a better quality. Then you can just specify the output format of the file. I usually use MKV, but it doesn't really matter. And you're ready to go. So now we'll just put the file name here and you're ready to encode. This may take a while, for example several minutes, but if you're just a little bit patient it will be soon over. I'll probably skip the letter of this part. So now that the resulting file is encoded, let's see how it looks. And you can't hear this, but the audio is screwed up while the subtitles are fitting correctly. Uh, also, often uh, the subtitles might be a frame late or frame early, but you will learn how to time shift in some of the later tutorials. So for now, you just need to remix the original audio, because right now it plays at uh, twice the speed it should. So you'll just take the hardsoft file, and you can either put it to the, the uh, existing file, uh, as in the one with the subtitles, but it's easier to mix it with the raw one, because you don't have to worry about the fonts and the like, because you would need to delete them out of it, of course. So you just need to check which one is the hard sub and which one is the raw one. So you will just leave those two here. And we'll, we can rename it for example. Not like it really matters. And then you'll mix again. You'll need to recheck for the audio of course and even to see whether it all matches up. And now, although you can't hear it, the audio is correct, and so are the subtitles on the whole track. You can also see that you can't turn off the subtitles anymore because there actually aren't any. So, thank you for watching my first video tutorial, and I hope to see you uh, in the next one, if one ever appears. Goodbye!